Good afternoon, DJ Tech Tools. I'm here in the studio with the DDJ RZ from Pioneer. But more importantly, I am going to show you a couple key features that are in the new Recordbox 4 software, specifically the performance pack. So traditionally, Recordbox was a free software, but now there's an optional paid performance pack. This is $129. It unlocks a world of possibility inside of Recordbox, basically making it a full-fledged DJ software aimed to compete with the likes of Tractor and Serato. So what's interesting about this software? I was wondering, you're probably wondering, so let's show you. And to make it interesting, I decided to demonstrate these features with the DDJ RZ. So jumping right in, one of my favorite new features that's unique to this software versus the other softwares, in other words, it's something you can only get in this right now, is a sampler with a sequencer built in. This new performance pack allows you to control up to 16 different samples at the same time across these pads or across other controllers. It should be noted that uh, this software works with a lot of different controllers in the Pioneer range, but the RZ is the only one specifically designed for all these features. So the RZ has a bunch of controls that work specifically for these performance pack settings. Right now I've got some uh, various drum hits loaded. Let's give them a listen. I've got some effects applied to them. Let's turn those effects off. Pretty standard stuff. Serato has it. Tractor doesn't have a sampler, but you can load uh, samples into your remix decks. The interesting thing is this sequencer. So what I can do is start this sequencer record button and record the sampler over my tracks. So if I've got a little loop going here, go ahead and hit overdub. And not only did it record that, but it also quantized what I played. So in theory, it should always be relatively on time. You can adjust that in the settings, how tightly the quantize uh, goes, but it seems to work pretty well. Now we can apply some effects. And what's interesting is that it's actually a sequence. So I stop the sequence and I can start it again. And you can save those sequences, load them back up with the software and play them in the future. So this could be an on-the-fly creation or it can be something that you create at home and take onto the stage. But it gives you a performance characteristic that I personally love in DJ software and I think has been lacking in a lot of other softwares for a long time. One of the features in this new software is the slicer. Now this is not new, Tractor's got it, Serato's got it. A slicer basically takes something like this loop and turns it into a slice. So now we can chop it up based on the grid. and then it continues playing when you release that. Now, here's what's cool. You can go ahead and take this and copy it to the sampler. So let's say you don't want to slice up the loop, but you actually want to sample the loop. You've got a, a, a mix going, you're in the middle of a mix, you've got a cool loop, maybe it's got a vocal or something, and you want to chop that up. But let's drop a beat underneath this and see how that sounds. Get a little loop going. Cool, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm in the slicer, so I'm gonna hold shift and capture, and that copied it into my sampler. So now I'm gonna take the slices that I put onto the sampler of that loop and replay them in a different pattern, so it's more expressive and less boring than the actual repeating loop. Add a little effects. I liked the slicer to sampler feature, and I like the sampler with the sequencer. The two of those can be really powerful, as you see. Another cool thing that you uh, DJ Tech Tools readers will love is that Pioneer has um, basically introduced instant gratification effects. You may remember um, with Tractor, we introduced a really popular mapping for the MIDI fighter. Each button you press triggered a specific effect. And we put the beat mashers above things like 
filter and reverb and the combination of a beat masher plus a reverb with a single button is super fun. Hence the name Instant Gratification. Well, they've given that to you in this new performance pack and on the software. Here's what it sounds like. Because you're not an expert at mapping, they've gone ahead and made it really easy for you to actually select what effect it is. You just go in and you directly edit on the pad effects specifically which effect you want to have on this pad, be it a echo, a delay, and then you've got effects on your pads in addition to your other six effects that are up here. So in theory, you could have up to seven effects on one deck at any given time. So that's fun, and I know you DJ Tech Tools readers will love those pad effects. Finally, one of the really cool and almost no-brainer DJ features for live performance that you saw on RMX hardware was something called the release effects. So a release effect is if you've got a track going, you turn on a whole bunch of effects and you want to release them all at once. So what release effects basically does is applies effect and then releases all effects when you let go of the button. This is really handy if you've somehow turned on a million different parameters and you need to get back to zero instantly, like just before the drop. So up until now, you needed to use um, the RMX hardware, as I mentioned, to get those release effects. They're now in the software, so you can control that with a controller like the DDJ-RZ, or in theory, a MIDI controller if they support MIDI mappings in the future, which they do not right now. Finally, some fun stuff that is unique to this controller. It's sort of interesting, I haven't seen this before, is a analog or, I don't know, it's probably digital, but at least it's on the hardware, so it's not coming from the computer. It's a sine wave generator. <laughs> So some of you may remember my videos where I showed you how to create an interesting scratch effect with noise. They've made it super easy. And added a sine wave. And if you combine the two together, you get scratch sign. So that's pretty fun. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is an interesting software, I have to say. Um, there's a couple things there that you can now do with Pioneer hardware that you can only do with Serato or Tractor before, like the slicer, um, like pad effects, um, and now there's some things that you can only do with the software, like sequencing your beats on the fly. You can, of course, record things like that with a cue point. Of course, we have our own MIDI fighter twister, which allows you to sequence drums and tractor, but it's really not the same. Uh, this is very interesting how you can record, overdub, and play drums in a sequence over your sets. So well done, Pioneer. Uh, like this a lot. If you want to try it out, you can try a free demo right now. Um, there's a link underneath me. I believe it works for 30 days. It is completely open, so there's no limitations and you can download it for free today underneath me. For more tips, tricks, reviews, and so much more just like this awesome video, uh, follow us on the web at djtechtools.com.